Hey, what is up, guys? I'm playing the vampires. That's oh, not a bad hand. Let's go ahead and set this uh, this guy up here. And we're in his turn. I like I like opening up with this guy. Opening up with Sorcerer is good to the point where I want to play Mystical Tomato. And Mystical Tomato also gets you other cards, too, like Golden Zombie. Uh, you might want to just play Tomatoes, like Triple Tomato. Like, you have to open up Sorcerer, you have to open up uh, Pyramid Turtle. Otherwise, like, this deck falls apart fast. Shard of Greed? What is this madness? Add that. Well, what? We saw. Vandy's Fiend? Dark Hall? I almost want to protest the heavy against him. <laughs> Make him a little scared. <laughs> Alright, so he's got to wait another turn. And then he'll be able to draw two. But we won't allow him to do that. We're just going to be like heavy. And I don't care if I have to heavy through my breakthrough. It's, it's worth it. Double duality. Pulse, bottomless, okay, torrentials. He's playing real traps too. That's cool. Got a heavy. All right, well, I can't let you get the effect of double pot of greed, sir, so I'm just going to have to... Uh, why didn't you set more? <laughs> I should have set the heavy. He might have been more inclined to set. But I, I can't let him draw four cards. Like, come on, now. That's just not happening. And I know this because he only added it with, uh, what's it called? Duality. Opening up Double Shard of Greed is pretty dirty for a turn, though. But, I mean, I had heavy, so I had the dirtiness. I tried to get him to set more, but he, he wouldn't do it.
Will he do it, though? That's the question, because anti-meta doesn't play that many monsters. Sometimes they just they can't afford it. It's fine. I was hoping he would bottomless I could train Torrential at one point, but I, I can't let the Grand Mole go off. Because I'd, I'd be caught in sending Grand Mole over and over, and he'd eventually fit flip fossil dino and it'd become a problem. Oh, sure, agree, all right. that's, that's a problem though. I gotta get rid of that fast. As fast as I possibly can. I played triple MST. So, hey, it could happen, right? Kaiku. I don't even care. I'm just going to get ill blood. And ill blood is pretty awesome. There's not very much you can affect with an anti meta anyways. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no to that. Skill. Or can I activate in here? Yeah, it's breakthrough skill. Alright. Oh, I can always negate the fossil dynamite. I should not be worried about that card. But in that moment, yeah, I should have been afraid of it. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, summon this. I don't even care what happens to this. So that means he's going to let me crash with this? I'm almost contemplating going Dire Wolf. Then I can book a life and just maintain control over the game. So I, I just, like I said, I don't want to let anti meta plus. At the same time, I, I don't have the field spot, I don't play that thing anymore. Mm -hmm. I really don't need a maxi, I almost want to go for.
But it's anti-meta, like, what is he gonna do? Summon Thunder King? I have Dark Hole, so I have a pretty good out to whatever he's doing. And I don't care if anything happens to this play. Because at this point I got this and this, so we're good. Torrential. That's fine. You know what this guy's effect is, right? I get a free zombie and I can manage him. Oh. Well, that's... That's a problem here, sir. Uh, what do we do? I'll get my effect. That's fine. You're playing anti-meta, sir. So I will go ahead and... Um, book in. I'll get out this. Uh, oh, we're banishing. I'm like, what? I, I want I want my ill blood. Um, there's two lights. It doesn't really matter. This technically stall. So he's playing like anti-meta as possible. He's got... What is he? Just go perimeter. Even though I know, I know he's got the macro out, so but it's fine. I can always creature swap. Smack! I'm I'm not afraid of anything right now. This is turning out to be a pretty good game. It's a very slow game of Yu-Gi-Oh, which doesn't happen often at all. But uh, if he like activates Reborn, I can't chain Maxi chain space type for them. But I think it's more of a benefit if I set this. And if I wait for him to summon whatever card he's going to summon, and then I will Space Typhoon this once he tries to attack. And I'll be like, oh, surprise, I'm getting a huge monster out. Because <laughs> my stuff's going back to the grave there, buddy. Uh, I mean, I'm not really afraid of a macro either. I can hit another macro. Oh, Gale. What's up, Gale? Yeah, I was fine with At the same time, I have to worry about other potential back row. Is really the reason why I'm not going to Space Typhoon right now. Because they play lots of back row. I'm not afraid of a Gale. Because I, I still have Creature Shot, remember, guys. I gotta see what else he has for the back row. No? Nothing? Oh, I could have saved my stuff. Could have saved it. It's fine. Man. He's got three monsters in his hand. Alright. Do I want. I really want a Creature Swap. Have Kalut, don't have Kalut. I doubt it, but Gale's just a good tech card because it gets over stuff.
Still gotta watch out sometimes for those, those macros. It's still a really good card. Alright, let's make him send a spell card. I just don't want to get Dark Hold. And Gale, Gale's still at 1, if I remember correctly. Alright. So that means he's, he's got a Forbidden Lance in his hand. That's what it has to mean. It has to mean he's got a Forbidden Lance in his hand. Alright. I, I can play this. I see your plans. So I'll Dark Hole he'll Lance and I'll summon Maxi next turn. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna set. Trying to think. False Dinah? Oh, Spirit Reaper, okay. Not honest, okay. He's bluffing me. What a good bluff. You pulled it off, though. It's a better option than setting him, by all means. Because you saw, I, I, I was like, I'm thinking about it, but when I had the premium control, I was like, no, no, no. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. Oh, my gosh. I, I think, at this point, I've taken too much control of the game because anti-meta is anti-meta. But he got out. What did he have? He had macro. He had a Vandy's Fiend, but uh, I got creature salt. It was mine now. Um...
Okay. Can't can't do it. I was gonna say, wait, wait I, I got this. I'll negate my vanity screen effect. Everything's cool. We're chill. We got this. I'm not. Even, I'm not. I'm not even worried. But yeah. Well, this is technically my opponent's monster, right? I mean, I'm just borrowing it right now. If that's cool. Um, I get no searches because of Thunder King. So I'm gonna go for that smack. And if he has anything, well. He almost bluffed me though. I don't think he should have said it. He he he, put, he made the right move. I mean, if I didn't draw into Goblin Zombie, I might not attack. I want to know what his back rows were. Let's go ahead and go into. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the replay. I'm gonna find out what the back rows were, and then I'll write it down though in the description box so we can make the video a lot faster. Because I want to know what these face downs are. But anyways, that was a really long game. I haven't had a really like long game in Yu-Gi-Oh in a while. I didn't even take that much damage, but man. You saw for a while, like, he had that Thunder King. Oh, that's dirty. All them Thunder Kings in double shardy root effect. But you can see the problem with anti-meta. Even though my deck isn't, like, a tier 1 deck, uh, just anti-meta gonna be anti-meta. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes, signing out.